Fox News Senior Vice President of News and Politics Alan Comis Saroff died on Friday after suffering a heart attack at his home earlier this month. He was 47 years old. This is an extremely difficult day for all of us who worked closely with Alan, and we are completely heartbroken, Fox News Media CEO Suzanne Scott and Fox News Media President Jay Wallace wrote in a memo to colleagues. Fox News Senior Vice President of News and Politics Alan Comis Saroff died on Friday after suffering a heart attack at his home nearly two weeks ago. He was 47 years old. Fox News Senior Vice President of News and Politics Alan Comis Saroff died on Friday after suffering a heart attack at his home nearly two weeks ago. He was 47 years old. Fox News Alan was a leader and mentor throughout Fox News Media who was integral to our daily news operations and played an indispensable role in every election cycle. The recent midterm election coverage was easily one of the finest nights of special coverage he produced throughout his career. And he was the ultimate producer, breaking news, politics, special events there was no steadier or more trusted colleague to be within the control room during the most consequential events of our time and his incisiveness and passion for news made our work better, Scott and Wallace wrote. Left to right, Brett Baer, Aisha Hasney, Harris Faulkner, Jay Wallace, Richard Fowler, Alan Comis Saroff. Left to right, Brett Baer, Aisha Hasney, Harris Faulkner, Jay Wallace, Richard Fowler, Alan Comis Saroff. Fox News Comis Saroff was a proud Fox News original having started at the network when FNC launched in 1996. It was his first job after college. He would joke that he was a guy from real Brooklyn and rose through the ranks to become a writer, producer, showrunner and eventually senior vice president of news and politics, overseeing all political coverage, Scott and Wallace wrote. His sharp sense of humor and quick wit throughout his incredible career also led to the many lifelong friendships he made here. Left to right, Bill Hemmer, Martha McCallum, Alan Comis Saroff. Left to right, Bill Hemmer, Martha McCallum, Alan Comis Saroff, Fox News. Comis Saroff is survived by his wife Rachel, who was his high school sweetheart, along with his children Ben, 17, and Olivia, 13. The Comis Saroff family left to right, Olivia, Rachel, Alan, and Ben. The Comis Saroff family left to right, Olivia, Rachel, Alan, and Ben. Fox News Our deepest condolences are with them and Alan's entire extended family as we collectively mourn the loss of a wonderful man, Scott and Wallace wrote. In 2020, Comis Saroff spoke to Adweek about overseeing election night coverage. Election night is our Super Bowl, so we try to outdo ourselves every cycle, Comis Saroff said. A GoFundMe fundraising drive for Comis Saroff's family has been launched. Left to right, Doug Rohrbeck, Alan Comis Saroff, Jay Wallace. Left to right, Doug Rohrbeck, Alan Comis Saroff, Jay Wallace. Fox News Fox News' Nicholas Lanham contributed to this report. Brian Flood is a media reporter for Fox News Digital. Story tips can be sent to brian.flood at fox.com and on Twitter at Brian's Flood.